One week after people, half a world away in Australia sits one of the most iconic buildings on the planet, the Sydney Opera House. During the time of humans, the four and a half acre building used as much electricity as a town of 25,000 people. The 160,000 ton building appears to float at the edge of the harbor, but is actually held up by 580 reinforced concrete pilings sunk up to 82 feet below sea level. The Opera House hosted about 3,000 events a year. But now, there is just one final long-running show, the slow decay of the building itself. The salty water of Sydney Harbor causes the most damage. It attacks the reinforced concrete pilings. The most vulnerable area for the pilings is known as the splash zone. In the splash zone, where you have repeated wet-dry cycles, the worst conditions are present because you have the sulfates attacking the cement paste on the outside, and you have chlorides that are coming in contact with oxygen to help get the corrosion of steel going on. The building is best known for its iconic roof. For now, the soaring ceramic tile covered shells at the top of the Opera House are well sealed from the salty harbor air. But a design feature that made these elegantly curved shapes possible now holds the secret to their future. Seventy-five years after people, in Sydney Harbor, the Opera House is becoming unstable. Hundreds of feet above the crumbling pilings in the harbor, the moist, salty air has slowly eaten away at the building's signature shells. The iconic roof was built using an innovative technique that made the curved shape strong. It's a system known as precast pre-stressed. Cables are laid in a setting area, stretched as much as six inches over 100 feet. And as soon as the concrete has cured to the design strength, the cables are cut. And what happens, it's much like a rubber band. If you stretch it and let go, they want to snap back together. But now, the stretching technique that gave the shells their strength is working against their survival. It's a steel cable under pressure. It's going to snap. And as soon as one snaps, you're adding the pressure and the force from that area of the building to another area. An entire shell quickly rips itself apart. As the crumbling shells slam down onto the main deck, the pilings most exposed to the salty water fail, and the rest of the structure collapses toward the harbor. One of the most iconic buildings in the world is headed down under.